Well, uh, in my endeavor to um, uh, keep explaining that how these transits affect us and how these transits have a different connotation when they are in different houses. I have explained initially about Saturn and uh, I've explained about Jupiter and now this time I'm going to explain to you all about Mars. How Mars when it is tra uh, transiting through the various 12 houses, what impact it has. And um, uh, if you've been following my series, you would uh, definitely know that all these houses are divided into four energies, that is the fire, the earth, the water and the air energy. So similarly, when these planets are going through these various houses, they do tend to adopt the energies of that particular house. So Mars, which is actually known as a very fiery planet, it's a very aggressive planet. It's a planet that which wins wars. It is known as a warrior planet. It can be used constructively and it can be used destructively depending upon the persons or the individual's persona. But at the same time, since our body is also made out of these four elements, that is water, air, earth and fire, these elements tend to have or build the attitude within us. So when these planets come into a particular sign and coordinate with the elements of our body, we can use it constructively or destructively. And now when Yola is seeing your chart, you have to see where your Mars planet is uh, placed. Uh, more often than not, Mars and Venus is in and around your sun sign. So you could probably see, look into your chart and see which sign your uh, planet is placed in the natal chart. So how your attitude is developed during that time. And then what is the transit showing because the transits are always different. And then accordingly analyze it. But uh, this is for your general explanation. You can't completely tune it into your life. So you must understand that when the planets are transiting the various houses, what do they demand of us? See, it's never a question of predictions. It's always like I maintain the fact that life is what you make it. So you have to learn how to create your own prophecies by understanding what the planets are demanding of us and how we are supposed to act in a particular way when a particular planet is in a particular house. Now Mars transiting the fourth house in the water sign Cancer. What does this denote for us? Well, you will have more energy at your disposal. And you can use this for domestic activities as well as for your professional projects because the energy is going to be there. And because your actions are governed by your instincts during this period, you may be specially defensive and protective. Now, I want you to understand Mars, a warrior planet, a fire planet which loves to go forward, which loves to take a little bit of risks, but what the Cancerian's instinct says, don't take a risk. Should you listen to your instincts or should you listen to the Mars? My answer to you is, when Mars is transiting the fourth house in Cancer, you should take calculated risks. Don't be so protective. Allow others to utilize their minds and allow others listen to the other person's ideas. Be supportive of their ideas as you are going to be confident of your own. Now, because your actions are governed by instinct, it does not mean that you have to be defensive and protective all the time. You must understand, when you lose something, there is a pain. So nothing lost, nothing gained. No pain, no gain. So you need to take those baby steps and need to test the waters and keep proceeding forward rather than building a wall around you because you will be flooded with ideas, you will be flooded and you would want to take. See when Mars, whenever it's transiting any house, what does Mars basic duty is to push the person, to make the person a little aggressive, to make the person realize that he needs to move forward. Now, which direction is he need to move is what these houses tell us. They give us the boundaries. 
Now here Mars has been given a boundary by the Cancerian that you need to take calculated risk because you are always on the defensive and you are always on the protective. Learn to break these walls and move a little forward and you, will, you need to work hard because when you are working hard you will feel secure. Because somehow Cancerians are not used to, see the Cancer house is not used to sitting idle. It's a flow of water, right? So the flow of water cannot be curbed. So you, uh, you need to keep working hard with the conviction that when you're putting your ideas into action, they're sure shot going to be successful. Rather than being protective and secure, you, uh, you should learn how to take baby steps during this time. And you will realize that at this particular time, only when you're actually paying attention to your professional front, you will be called upon to take charge of the home and family front. So what happens, the crabs are um, first and foremost very um, protective about the home and hearth. So they leave everything behind and go and uh, start taking and that is the time when they are taking care of their home and hearth. The opportunities are lost in the professional arena. So when Mars is transiting cancer, you have to realize that you need to balance both. You need to take the baby steps, need to take a little risk, communicate to your family and to your friends that yes, you are there. But rather than investing all your energy in homemaking, you need to also be a provider and invest your money where, uh, sorry, invest your energy from where the money is coming. So what happens during this time, uh, you will also realize when Mars is transiting this house, it's very strange that when Ma Mars is in forward motion, everything is going great guns. But when Mars is backward and it is transiting cancer, suddenly you will see house repairs. You will see things breaking. Your family will demand much of your attention. Now, a little bit of concentration on these dates will help you realize that, okay, when the Mars is in the backward motion, let me concentrate on my home and family and do the activities which require my attention. When the Mars is in the forward motion, I will balance my energies in the professional arena where I can make my money. So this is how you can balance both the things. In fact, you may feel very restless, moody, or defensive during this period so it is a good idea to indulge in your home activities when Mars is in retrograde and in your professional activities when Mars is in the forward motion. Now you will also have an increased desire to rule the roost and if this transit stimulates conflict or disputes it is likely to be family related. You will realize that when the Mars is transiting the fourth house, that is the Cancer, the family, it's everything to do about with family, with inheritance, there'll be disputes, there'll be arguments and uh, there are chances where even your values may be tested. So it's important for you to concentrate on the family as well as on your profession and you can divide your time between the backward motion and between the forward motion. You may encounter opposition from career related matters or people also. Right, so which basically I would say that when Mars is in the fourth house, especially in the house of cancer, you will realize that you are answerable in both the business as well as in your personal matters. You may get worked up about old angles and uh, these are all to do with your emotional issues or the past that resurfaces now. So the issues that you have actually put under the carpet resurface when Mars is transiting the fourth house. Basically it means you need to address your emotional needs pertaining to your personal as well as your professional front. Don't get upset that you cannot balance both the things. You have no choice but to balance it. So my clue to you would be when it is in backward motion, indulge your family. When it is in forward motion, concentrate on your work or professional matters. The transit of Mars takes 23 months to travel in all the zodiac signs. 
basically when you will look into your own chart you will realize where the um, uh, transit is because the almanac does gives us the, all the dates but just to give a clue to my clients you must uh, know that from january to march 9th mars is transiting aries and from march 10th onwards it's transiting taurus so probably then further on if you want to know how it is you can divide these 23 months and you will realize where the uh, mars is transiting